I've said before that I really like my clover pom-pom makers. And, you know, everybody knows how to make a solid color palm. And you can get multicolor palms. If you want to use variegated yarn, that's the easiest way to do it. Just wrap it around. And of course, like these, you can just take, you know, three different colors. And you wrap, 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 wrap. And you end up with these multicolor ones. But... I think something that's so important in our yarn work today, in the uh, 21st century, is we got to get thinking creatively. Now, here's a palm I did in two colors, and it's made by wrapping this side of the pom pom maker with the one color, and this side with the other color. And it's just just a little different. I like thinking outside of the box. Here's another one that kind of makes me think of Cruella de Vil, except for she had gray down the middle, like a skunk. But do you see how the colors are coming out in chunks? I just thought that was different and unusual, and it actually looks good in this, this unusual weave. Just something to think about. Get your creative juices flowing. So today, I thought we'd try another one. I'm going to experiment right here with you. Now, just a little trick. I like to cake my yarn and for several reasons. I like that it sits still and you get a center pool ball. But, when you want to use more than one strand, which is always handy when you are making palms because you can go so much faster, it pulls from the outside, you see it, and the inside at the same time. Oops. And it does roll. Alright, so here's my plan. I'm going to take yellow and I am going to wrap all around this side with the yellow. Okay, I'm going to stop while I have this much more to do. Now, I like to fill mine up to where it's yarn all the way across. But I'm going to stop right here with this yellow. Um, I guess you can cut or not cut. It's up to you. And now I'm going to move on with some white. Pulling again from the outside and the inside. Okay, so... Whoops, you want to get it under that little tab. Okay, and that's about good enough there. So, I'll clip that and close it up. And I'm going to repeat the process on the opposite side. just have a completely new look to your pom-pom. It's not um, something you see every day. At least not yet. Who knows, we may be setting a trend here. But 
See? It's just something a little bit new and different. All right, let's try another one. Let's wrap one very tight layer. Slide it over. one. Okay, there we go with one very tight layer. And then let's add white on top of that. And this isn't quite as easy to get tight because you can't slide it. Cover up that red. Basically we're just trying to cover the red. And we're going to finish off in blue. You can go slower if you want to. Me, I just am so impatient. I say slap that thing on there and... Sorry. And go to town. Close it up and repeat. And as you cut, you can see the striping revealed. Finish off as you would any pom-pom. you'll want your palm to match your hat or your project, whatever you're working on, but you can get creative with it too. What does it make you think of? Um, who knows? You could put your little nine on there, maybe find a nine button for someone who really loves pool. This one, of course, when I think red, white, and blue, the first thing that comes to mind is the American flag, but when I looked at this, I saw the British flag. So, Either way, you know, see what inspires you and then you can go from there.